I'm gonna die. This cat is actually gonna kill me. Hey guys, what's up? LD Childity here and welcome back to One Life, where today is a very special day. Everyone else on the server is busy preparing for the big Halloween at the end of the month, but not me, because today is my birthday. Yes, October 7th. And everyone seems to have forgotten, because I woke up and there were no presents by my bed. So I guess I'm going to have to throw my own birthday celebration and get myself some presents. However, the first order of business to attend to is this trade from Megan. I asked her if she will try and fish up a mending book for me, and she did. So what does this say? Heyo Lizzie, I heard you were in need of a mending book. It took three days of AFK fishing, but I finally fished one up. In exchange, I'd love some sweet swag you think would be fitting for an exchange. Thanks, dude. No, Megan, thank you. You saved my life. My obsidian helmet is about to break, so I want to put mending on it so I will never have to worry about that ever again. Phew. Now, of course, there is the matter of giving her something in exchange. She didn't specify what she wanted, but I have a lot of goodies in here. She has a lot of name tags because she does a lot of fishing. I bet she has a lot of diamonds too, but you can never have too many diamonds. So I'm going to give her 16 diamonds. Let's also give her, ooh, a lucky rabbit's foot. <gasps> How about some fireworks? Let's see which one this is. Okay, that one's pretty cute. Let's give her some of these. I also want to give her some potions because they are really handy in one life. And some blaze rods, which are my new favorite thing right now. Also this iron horse armor. Let's make sure to also take a book and quills so that we can leave a note. And let's take this lot to Megan's house. That's her place right over there. You know what? I actually haven't visited her before, so this is going to be the first time. I've only seen her place from afar, and boy, is it beautiful. <gasps> wow, it's so modern. Oh, look at her little car. That's adorable. Hmm, let's see. Where would be the best place to leave this chest for her? Oh, she has a cat. Burrito. What a beautiful name. Oh, oh, girl. What is all this? What are all these chests? There. So... Unorganized! Oh, it hurts. I gotta get out of here. Oh, let's leave the exchange out here. So, put all the cool stuff in here. And then in the book, I'm going to write, hey -oh, here's the sweet swag I offer in exchange for the mending book. Hope you love it, Lizzie. Signed, deal or no deal. Okay, so that is all taken care of. Let's just pop to the shop and check on my stock. Okay, we have fully stocked the bones. Saddles have sold quite well. Name tags, not selling at all. Why is nobody buying my name tags? And we're almost out of rainbow runes. Perfect. And let's also quickly check on the banners. Oh, we have sold quite a lot of them. Only the ugly ones left now. You know what, I'm gonna take this one. I don't care if nobody else likes it, I like these ones. Oh no, let's get back before it gets dark. Oh, I don't wanna die on my birthday. That would really suck. Okay, I think I severely overestimated the danger in walking home late at night in one life. I lit up my path pretty well, so I didn't even encounter any danger. But I am glad that it's daytime now. So let's find a home for these leftover banners in my house. That looks pretty cute there. And this one can go... Uh, there! How adorable! Okay, now it wouldn't be a birthday without birthday decorations, so let's go over to the deco bench and spruce this place up for a party. Ah! Oh! It's a birthday cake. Gimme. Oh, balloons. Ta-da. All right, now let's find a place to put the cake. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look how cute it is. It's rainbow sprinkles. Okay, that's my new favorite thing ever. We need a special little table for this cake because people don't normally put cake on the floor. Boom. Yay, floating cake. Oh, can we make the birthday balloons float? Okay, we got some floating balloons. <gasps> oh, you know what else we need? A hanging banner saying happy birthday to me. So let's get some string, some iron, paper, feather, and ink. And now we can make letter bunting. Let's test this out right here. Testing. Oh, cool. Now, where should we put this? <gasps> we should make it look like it's hanging from balloons. Oh yes, that looks so weird. Can we do it in multiple colors? Yes. Okay, we can fit the word happy. Ta-da! No birthday today, just happy. 
Let's try and put birthday on the row below. No, it won't fit the word birthday. Are you serious? Ugh. Maybe I should have done this outside my house where there's a bit more room. Okay, this is better. Happy birthday. Ta-da! Oh, that is adorable. And now I just have to run through to get to my house where I can blow out my candles of this inedible cake. Maybe we should actually make a real birthday cake next. So let's see, what kind of cake should I make? We can make the traditional Minecraft cake or we can make a chocolate sprinkles cake. I say we make both because it's my birthday and I'll do what I want. So let's start with the vanilla cake. We need a bunch of milk, egg, sugar, and wheat. Oh my gosh, I don't have any eggs. I remember now, I used them all to prank Scott and I have never owned an egg since. So that's gonna be a bit tricky, but I have the sugar, the wheat, and very shortly, all the milk I will need. Thank you, ladies. But now we just need a little egg. Let's see if Yami has a chicken farm that we can ransack. I only need one little egg. So I think her animals are back here, but does she have chickens? Oh, <gasps> they look so cute. All right, I just need to get in amongst you, scoop up some eggs, and then I'll be out of your feathers. Goodbye now. Let's take the back route home so nobody sees us. I mean, there's nobody online, but I don't want any witnesses to my crime. Did not mean for that to rhyme. I'm gonna stop speaking now. All right, now let's make other cake. Ta-da! <gasps> I got an achievement! The lie. Let's get another shelf so that we can prop the cake up on here yay and now i think we definitely need a chocolate cake to go on this side and the final piece of the puzzle chocolate sprinkles cake i just have to be really careful not to accidentally eat part of my birthday display how cool does that look now just because it's my birthday does not mean the mobs will not kill me so let's sleep now i have all my birthday snacks and my birthday decorations i just need to get myself a present so i thought what is one thing in one life that i want but I haven't got yet. I have a lot of things. Bunnies, mushrooms, all kinds of gross, disgusting horses, a fantastic house, flawless interior design, all the diamonds and gems I could dream of, a pool of magical water right outside my doorstep that keeps me alive every day. By the way, I visit this spa way too many times in a day. If this spa wasn't here, I would definitely be dead. So what more can a girl want? Well, I know just what I want. I have many cats in the cat cafe, but none of them want to kill me. So I am going to try to lure one of the baby witch's baby cats into my house, name tag it so it stays forever, and confine it somewhere where it can't kill me in my sleep. So where should I put this deadly cat? Hmm. I don't want to put it with my other animals because it might kill them. I have no idea what will happen. <gasps> Maybe we should put it on the opposite side of the spa. The spa gives life, the witch's cat taketh away. So I think I'm gonna build basically this out of different blocks and put it on the other side. So let's clear this area ready for construction. Move out of the way, life. I'm bringing some death over here. So here is the layout of the structure made out of dirt so far. We just need to find an appropriate block to build this out of for my new little cat, which I do not have yet. So it kind of needs to be the opposite of the beautiful, bright, life-giving colors of my spa. Let's see what we have. Okay, special wood. We've got, oh, unburned wood. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. Hideous. This could work. And we also have this delightful looking ebony wood. Oh, that is quite something. I hope this doesn't look too hideous. All right, here it is. The spooky version of the spa. Looking really plain at the moment. So I think we need a decorative star and a piece around the door, just like the spa. Now I thought about using the void stone because that could look pretty cool and maybe chiseling it to one of the other colors, but I don't think it's quite right. So instead, I'm gonna use a different block. Diamonds. But that looks awful, Lizzie, I hear you say. Well, not if we chisel it to look like that. How adorable is that? This could be a really clever place to hide my diamonds in plain sight. We just need more. To the mines. Three days later. All we have to do is put these last blocks in place and the accents on the building are complete. Boom. Like a symphony to my ears. 
Yeah! And also, one of these blocks I actually want to make into an iron block. So let's just take that back. Oh. No. Give it to me! Come here! What the heck? There we go. And I'm going to replace this with an iron block because that has a cool moon shape. There we go. How cool is that? Oh gosh, I nearly fell off my tower. Now let us observe and marvel in the glory of what I have just created. So that's not so bad. We still have some diamonds left now in the end. Now I'm thinking we need some spooky glass. So let's try and get some black stained glass. Hopefully this looks good. Yes, pretty good. All right. We need a door. I totally forgot. Oh, I like it. Now I think this would be a perfect time to use that void stone we made last episode for the flooring. But maybe we could even chisel it to get something a little spookier looking. Oh, wait. Does anyone else see skulls? I think if you can see a skull, it means that you are evil. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to use the void stone in here. So, ah, villager. Oh my gosh. Hey. Stop locking me out of my own place. You're not going to want to be in here once I bring my cat in. But you can stay for now. For the night is dark and full of terrors. And we must sleep. A birthday slumber. <gasps> what the heck? Okay. I don't know what happened to that villager overnight, but he had quite the makeover. What the heck happened last night? Oh, I think we're going to have just enough. All right, this looks good. I think it's time to bring in the cat. So we should probably prepare some kind of cage to contain it in. So I'm gonna put it right at the back here, which is probably the safest place. And then we'll have some glass panes here and cover the top like this. And then our little cat will be on this block right here, but closed in by glass so it won't be able to escape, hopefully. Yep, it should be pretty secure in there. Actually, let's replace this with white stained glass. Oh yes, that looks much better. It's like a fish tank, except it will have a cat inside. So let's leave this bit open for now so that we can lure it in. Now all we need is to find the cat. So it's gonna need to be nighttime. So let's grab a lead and prepare ourselves mentally as the sun goes down for my potential death in one life. Hopefully not. My arm is pretty strong now and I think I know what I'm doing. So, oh my gosh, it's a blood moon. That makes things five billion times harder. Oh no. Well, if I can achieve this, I can achieve anything. <gasps> Wait, I just realized we need a name tag before we find the kitten. Otherwise it might despawn. So let's go back and name a name tag before we go hunting. I am going to call it Salem. Like Sabrina the Teenage Witch's cat. Okay, I see a lot of things. Ah! <gasps> That was a huge explosion, but I don't see a freaking witch. Okay, it's a lot harder to find a baby witch than I thought it would be. They always seem to appear when I don't want them to. And then the one time I want to find one, they are nowhere to be seen. Okay, there must be a blooming witch around here somewhere. <gasps> oh my gosh, I heard one, I heard one. Where is it, where is it? Ah, oh, there's a baby witch. <gasps> okay, how do we get her alone? Why are there so many baby mobs? It's like a baby mob convention. Okay, they're just killing each other. That makes my job a lot easier. Okay, there she is. Does she have a cat? I don't see a cat. She does have a cat. Okay. Oh! Okay, there she is. She's still here. I'm just going to grab her cat. Oh! There she is. Where's her cat? Where'd your cat go? There it is. There it is. Okay, run, 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 run. I'm going to get it with the name tag. Oh, no. It's so fast. Come on. Okay, looks like we don't need the lead. It's following me very well. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we do need the lead. Okay, I name tagged it. I name tagged it. Follow me! Let's just get in here, and then we'll lure it out up here. Come on, get in here. How do I get this cat in this hole? <gasps> I'm gonna die. This cat is actually gonna kill me. Okay, I need to get out of here. Oh, it's followed me. It's followed me! Ah! Whew, okay. Come here, you stupid cat. Nah! I'm so scared of my own cat. Stop hitting me, please. Would you just get in here with me? Yes, get in, get in. Okay, now here's the plan. I don't know what the plan was. I don't know what the plan is. Help me out. I think it's trapped. Yes, we trapped Salem. Whew. And I only almost died a lot. Success. I need a spa treatment. Now all we need to do is give this place a bit of a makeover so that Salem feels more at home. So let's put some shelving all along this wall here. And then all we have to do is get some spooky items to put on it. To the deco bench. 
for all your decorating needs. So, get a couple of these just bobbing around. Wait, is that a witch? Are you kidding me? There's a cat and a witch that has just spawned right there. I can't believe it. Right, let's also get this cauldron set up. Ooh, and these skull candles. Oh, they look a lot cooler than these. And I'm pretty sure that the potions also light up slightly. Okay, this is looking pretty good, but I think the walls are a little bit bare still. So let's make some item frames and I'm gonna dye them different colors. Now I thought in these item frames we could put stuff like an eye of ender. Oh no, I used it! Oh no, I meant to put it in the item frame, but I accidentally threw it. At least we know that the end portal is that way. So let's put a fermented spider's eye in one of the frames or not. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Kind of looks like a tadpole trying to swim away. So in the red one, I'm going to put this blaze powder, which looks cool. And let's put a bone in one of these and another bone in this one. And then I'm going to turn it round like that. Now we've got three left, so I really want to put some tanzanite in one of them. There we go. And I also have a book, which can go in there, and a feather. All right, Salem, are you happy in your new environment? No? You want a rug in here? Okay, if you insist. Well, if you insist, Salem, I guess we will add some carpet for you. How's that? You want it chiseled, huh? That looks gross. You've made a terrible decision, Salem. This is all your fault. That looks a bit better. Bravo. Oh my gosh, I totally almost forgot. Fairy lights. How could I forget? From here to here. Ooh, I like it. Very cute. I think we're done. So that is it for my very special birthday episode of One Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. If it's also your birthday today, then happy birthday to you too. If it's not your birthday, then a very merry unbirthday. And I will see you next time.